Hello there, friends, and welcome to a beautiful rainy day here on the island of Larkshire. Midge is over here with her cute little umbrella. We've got our cute little umbrella, and we've got some stuff to do today. We've got a lot of catching up to do. We're actually on the 15th because we almost missed a birthday, so we went back in time a little bit so we wouldn't miss it. We'll do that in just a minute along with showing you the result of this little project. All right, so yeah, we can actually uh, we can actually take these down now, so we don't have to keep dodging them because all the rocks are where they need to be. <laughs> um, so how do we do that? We just gotta go in here, I think, and change like one pixel on our design. Do do to do. There are a few mannequins around town that I accidentally put the wrong shirt on, so we'll have to uh, we'll have to be watching for those. Uh, we'll just put a little blue dot down here in the corner and that should take care of things we can fix that later <laughs> yeah there we go all gone woo yeah I'm kind of happy it's raining to be honest I love the rain in Animal Crossing okay Midge is over here with her cute little umbrella Midge what are you doing oh muffin how are things dear let's talk I'm not gonna let a little rain slow me down dear that's good we're not gonna let a little rain slow us down either. Ooh, we're gonna grab these bells. There's Francine too. Look at her cute little umbrella. Everybody's got some cute umbrellas today. I like it when they have the umbrellas instead of like the raincoats. Well, if it isn't swanky, I was hoping you'd come over and say hello, Twinkles. Let's chat. How are you faring, Twinkles? I do hope Larkshire life is everything you hoped for. It certainly is. Well, looky here. <laughs> we have a rock garden. We put it over here uh, in Lucky's Acre, next to Lucky's house. Thought it might be fun uh, for putting some gyroids around and maybe, I don't know. We're going to take out these wood floors. Those were just there to direct the rocks where they needed to go. And uh, we have a few gyroids that we're going to work with over here in Lucky's Acre. I don't know how much of that we'll get to today. I have a few plans for the area. We're going to put some bushes down the center here so that um, we have something to push off against when we hit the rocks, which will make that nice and easy. And uh, we're going to do some decorating around. And we still have to decorate Mary's yard to our two little buddy neighbors here, our little besties. <laughs> and guys, I guess we're going to be on the lookout for a new villager of the week today because uh, Mary, Mary's had the title for a while now with our extra time off. So let's see, we'll have to see who's, who's being extra good today. <laughs> um, what do we even need to do? I don't know. I feel like we're running around aimlessly. We probably need to see if we have a bottle on the beach somewhere. I think I actually have a pocket full of sea creatures from the last time I played, yeah. So we need to, oh, I think we need to donate this rainbow fish too. Um, we've got a, just a few random things in our pockets. So let's go sell some of those, see what's in nooks today. And uh, just take a little walk around and find out what's going on the island today. What's going on on the island today uh, since, since we've been away for a bit. Oh, but we did say that we had a birthday today too. And that is Caroline's birthday. We couldn't, we couldn't miss it, so we had to go back in time a little bit. <laughs> we'll be back on uh, regular time in the next episode, but uh, for today, we, we're, we're on what? Last week sometime. The 15th. Oh, it's only four days ago. Okay. Not that long then. <laughs> Okay, I don't think we need anything from the cabinet. I'm not seeing anything here uh, that would suit Caroline. She kind of has like a desk and some exercise, like an exercise ball, maybe some bookshelves in her house. I'm trying to remember exactly. It's been a while since we've been in there maybe. But we are going to be redoing her house at some point for... Um, for her little theme over there, which is kind of bed and breakfast. Um, this is her house here. Oh, look, we got some stuff laying on the beach there we need to take care of too. So yeah, we'll try to figure out 
Who's gonna be at her party? I wonder if it'll be Static, because she was at Static's party the other day, so wouldn't it be funny if Static was at her party too? <laughs> it could be the squirrels. Uh, well, there's not actually very many shells on the beach, and I wonder if that's because... Well, I didn't... I don't think I played that day. Interesting. Oh, there's our bottle, though. We'll take that. Uh, but we might run over to, um, not Harv's Island, the other place. <laughs> Happy Home Paradise! And check the shop there just to see if there's something cool for Caroline. And if there's nothing there, then maybe we will craft something. Or, oh, there's one of those mannequins that was the wrong pattern. <laughs> I, I was having a little trouble over here apparently. I got one on the ground and all kinds of stuff. All right, there's Mary. Let's check in with Mary. I feel like it's been so long since we talked to our sweet little villagers. Oh, hey Muffin, how have you been? I haven't seen you around. Have you been avoiding me? You goof. I'm always happy to chat with you. We're always happy to chat with you too, Mary. Oh, we got some uh, flowers. Flowers going crazy over here. Muffin, how are you? Getting some fresh air always puts me in a great mood. That's good, Kiki. You're so cute. Uh, we do have a couple other... Let's see, what is this? One of those leaf bugs and a long locust or something? A migratory locust? What is this? A grasshopper. Okay. <laughs> well, let's go see. Um, might as well go in and give these to Blathers now since we're right here. Okay, catch up on all our little jobs that we've been had waiting for us. Uh, and I guess we will need to go back into uh, the shop and buy some wrapping paper. Although we might have some in storage. We might. Let's see, we need to donate some things, blathers, grasshopper, walking leaf, and we didn't have a rainbow fish, so awesome. Three new things for the museum. By the way, how do you like our cute dress? <laughs> this was um, in Abel's last time I played and I couldn't resist and they had the little matching uh, flip-flops and the little hairpin. It was just too cute not to do it. Just too cute. And the pink hibiscus actually had a hard time choosing the color, but when I saw the pink flip-flops I knew that was the way we had to go. So that's all right. So let's run over to Happy Home Paradise really quick and uh, see if there's something good for Caroline over there. Because we haven't been over there in a while either. We haven't been anywhere in a while. <laughs> oh, I gotta clean up those hearts too since we never did use them. Uh oh, Nico just said that Lottie wanted us to check into the office. So I hope she's not trying to give us a new job here. <laughs> We're not looking for a job. We're looking for a birthday present. That's all we need today. All right, what are you saying, Lottie? Ah, Carolee, I've been waiting for you. Can you pull out your phone so I can send an app to you? Oh, did we earn something? That's kind of weird. What app are you sending? Oh, the room sketch. Okay. Perfect. The app is called Room Sketch and it's used for creating room designs. You can use it anytime. Great for experimenting with new and different design ideas. You can use the designs you create when working on a client's vacation home. If you come up with a design you really like, you should recommend it to one of our clients. Okay, that's cool. I don't think I've ever actually done that. Have you guys done that? Used the Room Sketch and then and then uh, suggested it to a client. You know what, this is really pretty. I bet Caroline would like this. And this looks like it would fit in a beachy bed and breakfast. So we're gonna go with that <laughs> and give that to Caroline. I like it. I don't think we need any of that other stuff. So we'll head on back. Uh, might as well look for the bottle on the beach over here too though. In case there's one that we haven't got yet. Some cuties over here. What is it? Whoops. We have from Mayel a vine bench. Do we have that one yet? Yes, we do. All right. Well, let's keep um, let's keep going because I want to check in. Maybe we haven't talked to some of the people that we've built a house for. Um, I don't know. Let's just talk to a couple of them. Hey, Carolee, what's up? How are things? I 
kind of thought that building a vacation home would be a little much, if you know what I mean. I really had it backward. Turns out it's kind of the best. Thanks for helping me out. Okay. I'm just basking in the vacation life, Carolee. How can I help you? I guess we've already picked up... <laughs> Oh, I'm fantastic, loving the place, at peace with the world, and living harmoniously with my surroundings. I am somewhat terribly jealous that you're designing homes for other folks, though. Oh, okay, that's kind of interesting, strange. <laughs> Midge! Oh, I'm so glad I'm getting a chance to thank you for your help with my vacation home. It's the perfect spot for me to get cozy and read books under my favorite lamp. Here, I got a little something for you, dear. That's what we were looking for. <laughs> I hope you can use a monochromatic dotted rug. I'm sure we can. Thank you very much. Oh, have we talked to you already too? Hey, remember that vacation home you helped make for me? You know that one, right? The one for me. I just wanted to tell you it's amazing. And also that I got you this. Because you're amazing too, old bunny. <laughs> I like that, old bunny. I bet you didn't expect some natural flooring. All right. Well, cool. We got a couple things then. And we will head back and find some wrapping paper for Caroline's gift and go see who is at her party. And if we have time later, we might check into Harv's Island too, because we haven't been there in over a week, so there should be some New rugs, new stuff from Kicks, new art, all that good stuff. <laughs> we should probably check it out. But I do want to get a start on Lucky's. Let's see. We have pocket space. Yeah, let's get these out of the entrance here. Okay, let's go find some wrapping paper. Oh, we got to put something in this spot too. What's coming up next? <laughs> um, end of July. Is that the cowboy festival thing? Should we... Should we be putting out a little uh, horse, horsey, springy horse, whatever that thing's called? Um, what am I looking for? Wrapping paper. Wrapping paper. We do have some and it's purple, of course. Okay, so let's get this wrapped. Wrap. Casablanca lilies. Very cute. And then we will put some of this other stuff away. We're going to put away the wrapping paper, the heart crystals. Let's see that we can put away the rug, the floor. Yeah, all that stuff. Okay, cool. Well, let's go find out who is at Caroline's party. How old do we think Caroline is? If you had a guess, <laughs> what would you say? This is her, her birthday. One number. Oh, it's Hans. Okay. I wouldn't have expected that. Swanky, come on in. I'm so glad that you're here. Right, let's talk to Hans first. Look at him in that balloon hat. <laughs> hey, I get it. You want to talk to me, but it's Caroline's birthday. She's the star today. She's so cute. It's so flattering to have visitors on my birthday. And I'm really touched that some friends had gifts for me. I brought this for you. Oh, yeah. She has the... Uh, is that the manga wall? Let's see, present. Or something else. I can't remember. This is so sweet of you. Do you mind if I open it? I hoped someone might bring me some Casablanca lilies. This is really great, Twinkles. Your gift made me so happy. Thanks so much. Aw, that's so sweet. Caroline, we gotta try to get a picture. Um, let's see. We should get in camera mode, shouldn't we? <laughs> and then we, like, gotta wait for her to turn around. Let's zoom in a little bit. Get down. Nope. Get down here. Down here. This is so hard. <laughs> Alright, there she is. Um, snap. Oh, we kind of put her off the page there. Here we go. No, don't turn! <laughs> I'm so bad at taking these pictures. Okay, let's try this again. Let's come down. Ooh, we need to zoom out a little bit now. Caroline, why are you, like, in, nose in the corner over here, girl? Come on. Help us out here. I'm trying to get a good picture for your birthday. Um, do we have a dance on our thing? We can throw some confetti. That's a good one. All right, let's see if we can get her to come over here. Here we go. There we go. That's a good picture. <laughs> okay. All right, all done. 
Before you leave, there's one more thing I need to tell you. Thank you for coming by and for your thoughtful present. I'm such a happy squirrel. Aw, she's so cute. I'm glad she's happy. Happy birthday, Caroline. We came, we traveled back in time just for you. <laughs> All right, let's see if we can pick up some of this stuff and get rid of it. Gotta sell some more stuff. Might as well grab that seashell over there too. And then maybe we'll go, um, you know what? Let's take a look around a little bit while we're over here because I want to know if we have some hibiscus bushes somewhere because I was kind of thinking that those would work. Oh, no, no, no. I changed my mind after that. I was kind of thinking that would work for um, Lucky's Acre, but then I was thinking, no, we should plant the tea olive bushes there because Lucky has kind um, well, he doesn't have his real house right now, but... You know, I feel like he has kind of a fall themed house. So we are going to, we're going to look for some tea olive bushes to put there. And I don't know if we have any or if we'll have to go buy some. So that would be another reason to go to Harv's Island to see if Leaf has any tea olive bushes. But we'll check our storage first to find out. All right, we're kind of just, kind of just checking on things. We probably got some flowers growing up around places they're not supposed to be. We might clean those up another day. Uh, right now, I'm just kind of maybe getting some of these sticks off the ground. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. We're clean. Oh, look, here's another one of those mannequins with the wrong pattern on it. I wonder how many of those there are around. Wouldn't it be funny if we found one like in a month from now? It'd be like, this has been here this whole time and you just haven't walked by this spot. <laughs> Ooh, more money. We'll chop this one down too because uh, that is not where we wanted a tree necessarily. And I haven't seen today's money spot yet. Or glowing spot, whatever it is we call it. Okay, so we got some wood. All right, let's, um, what do we, what did we just pick up? Oh yeah, a bunch of seashells. So let's get those sold. And then we'll check our storage and see what kind of shrubs we have available to plant over in Lucky's Acre. And then we'll have to go into, um, construction mode so we can pick up those wood paths too. Let's see. We want to sell because somebody left their big pile of <laughs> seashells all over the beach. We'll probably keep those summer shells um, just in case. We want to make something summery later on. I don't know what it would be, but we might. And how many acres do we have left? Like four, three or four, five? Lucky's acre was 16, right? So we have four left and our house still hasn't been placed yet. Just saying. Okay, natural. Yeah, we're going to put some more of this stuff in storage and then get some stuff out of storage, hopefully. I don't know if we've seen those tea olive bushes yet. Hopefully we have. Or maybe we already have some. <laughs> It'll save us a little bit of time. All right, what should we do? Um, put something away. So let's do this again. Get some things out of our pocket. Actually, I'm going to put away the stack of 30 there. What is this? A glowing moss jar. That needs to go up near um, near the bee farm situation that we have going on. I don't know. Some of this stuff was in our pockets because we were using it for something. And then I honestly have no idea what we were in the middle of in our last episode because it's been so long ago now. All right, get something out. What kind of shrubs do we have today? Um, oh, we have actually a lot of shrubs in here. Azaleas, hydrangeas, plumerias. Hey, we do have some yellow tea olives. I was really kind of hoping we had the orange ones, though. All right, guess what? <laughs> We're going to Harv's Island. I don't know if uh, Leaf will have those shrubs today, but we can try. And we get to look at all the other fun stuff, too. Also, we should have our umbrella out. Although it might not be raining on Harv's Island. Let's go find out. And there won't be any more wedding stuff going on over there <laughs> anymore. So we won't have to do that. Uh, but I hope there is a new piece of art. Let's see. We want to fly. 
Visit Harv's Island. It would be nice if there was a new piece of art. Because I don't think we really have very many. And I, I don't always think to go over and check. Because every time we buy a piece of art from Red, he replaces it with something else that could be real. So we really should be buying up a fake one every time we go over there too. Just to give more chances for real ones to spawn in there. <laughs> But we don't always remember to do that. Don't always think to do that. Usually busy doing something else, aren't we? Okay, let's see what Kix has today. First of all, oh, you know what? Red's on the island today. Welcome, chum. Have a look. No rush at all. Okay, the little flower shoes are super cute, but I don't think I ever actually end up wearing them. We're going to buy them anyway. Yes, we love to fill our pockets up with stuff we don't need. <laughs> Thank you very much. We're going to buy this little red purse, too, because it's so cute. The clasp purse. We'll take it. When, um, when I first started playing New Horizons, like, I, I always had some kind of little backpack or purse on Carolee because <laughs> it was like so it was something new you know I was like oh yeah she's always gotta have something something to go with her outfit over here all right do you have any tea olives today buddy um hydrangea and plumeria he that's the, gonna be the only ones he has then isn't it because they're both in season he only ever oh no he has he does have three kinds of shrubs but they're not the ones we need all right, what is this? Hyacinths and mums. Do we need hyacinths? I don't think so. I don't think we really know what flowers we need right now. <laughs> we do need roses though, because we need to uh, do something with Mary's situation over there. Let's see, do we like any of these? I feel like we already have this rug, but do we have it in black? Hmm. All right, well, we know it's there and it'll be there for the rest of the week, so. Just gonna head back now. I guess we'll plant the yellow tea olives for now. And then um, if we find some orange ones later on, we can replace them and move the yellow ones somewhere else. That'll work. I don't think, cause I don't think that we have any tea olive bushes planted anywhere else on the island. If we did have them, I think they would be over, like, next to where Nooks used to be. Maybe? Where all those roses are? I know there's a bunch of shrubs up ab above that, but I don't, I don't remember which kind they are. Let's go look. We'll get some hyacinths over here. Let's see. Oh, okay. It looks like mostly hydrangeas. And those are definitely not tea olives. What are they though? <laughs> Who knows? I, I'm not familiar enough with the leaves to identify them that way. All right, that's, those are azaleas then. Okay, all right, let's get into our construction mode situation over here. Oh wait, what nook miles do we have? We sold some stuff. Oh, we, we could get some for changing our clothes too. Maybe we'll do that later. Any new ones there? Nope. Okay. Um, oh, whoops. We forgot to get in construction mode. Start up the island designer. Yes, we want to. Uh, we might just leave those gyroids over there in that little middle section. They look kind of cute there. But I feel like maybe we should give them something to be sat up on. Like some little boxes or pedestals or stools or something. So they're not just sitting on the ground there. We might have to look at what we can do. Do do to do. This is gonna <laughs> this is gonna take a minute. We might lay down some other kind of path here. Like maybe the little dirt path or something. What else do we want to put around here? We we can't block we can't block the rocks. We know that. So if we plant Alright, let's uh let's get because we can go ahead and put the bushes in, right? If we plant them like here, whoops, <laughs> where am I going? All right, not there. Here and here and have like maybe a little piece of fence in between or something. 
Would that look really cute? I think I like that. Um, and we can't do it yet because we don't have it, but we could put the little pumpkin fence uh, once fall gets here. The one, the, like the iron fence with the little pumpkins in it. Oh, we wanted to go to, wait a second. We got to stand. Okay. We know how this works. <laughs> it's been a minute. We know how this works. Okay. Plant one here. I just had to look and make sure we were planting the right bushes. Who knows what I have in my pockets these days. All right, I'm gonna plant one here. And then we'll we'll look at which fences we have already made now. Maybe like a country fence would look, although I don't know how that would look. Does that go with Lucky's house? <laughs> Maybe not. He doesn't seem like a country fence kind of guy. Maybe we should check in with Lucky while we're right here before we finish up. Let's go see what he's doing. See, because uh, I really can't remember what the inside of his house looks like right now. I know it's not his his re regular house. Okay, he's got the cabin stuff in here. So actually the country fence would go with what he has in here right now. But I don't think um, that's what he's supposed to have. How you doing, Wonderbud? Looking for some place to escape the rain? Well, you found it. Uh, what's the latest? This log stool fits my butt perfectly. Well, that's uh, too much information, but thank you for sharing. <laughs> Why don't we give you a giant clam? We haven't handed out any clams in a while. Let's see what you give us back. Maybe we'll go talk to Isabel um, and see if we can get Lucky's house changed to what it's supposed to be. Huh, I wonder what kind of stuff I can make with this. Oh, a Hawaiian print apron. Thank you. We could have used that um, for the who, who wore it best apron situation. Uh, we didn't have the Hawaiian apron at that point. It would have been a fun one to include. All right, let's see. We'll probably get back to... Oh yeah, let's go ahead and do that with Lucky's house while I'm thinking about it. And then we'll finish. We can't ever get a, just get a job done, can we? <laughs> We're always running off to do something else. That's okay. It's like that some days. We can check the recycle bin while we're in here too. Do, 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 do. What do we got? A microwave and a cedar sapling. We'll take those. And then let's see if there's any new seasonal items that we need to order because we haven't checked this in a while. Also, but we're not going to forget to talk to Isabel while we're in here <laughs> because that is what is would normally happen. Okay, you know what? Let's um let's order this garden lantern because I feel like we might be needing some of those soon. That seems like something that would be good around Lucky's house. All right, we're going to order a couple of these little rodeo springy rides. Um oh, and one of these. These are fun and those are cute. Okay. Um did we already order a ship's wheel decoration? Let's see. Let's go to details. Japanese holiday until 7.15. Oh, today's the last day? Hmm. All right, we better just order one just in case we didn't. <laughs> okay. Well, there's that. But that'll be fun. We can put those little springy rides in the in the seasonal spot near Nooks for the rest of the month because I think that actually goes through the beginning of August. And there's not much else going on. Um, until the August firework days, which will be super fun. Okay, let's talk about a resident. Is there a resident causing you trouble? Yeah. Which resident has been troubling you? Lucky. <laughs> what about Lucky's behavior is upsetting you? The way his home looks, it's just not him. Oh dear, so there's an issue with Lucky's home? I'll see what I can do about reverting the exterior. For the interior, we'll need to talk to Lucky. Oh, I didn't know that we had to talk to him. Would you like me to speak with Lucky? Yes, please. Okay, I'll set up a chat with Lucky right now. Can I help you with anything else? No. Oh, so she doesn't bring him in here like Nooks does. Uh, like Nook does. If there's anything I can assist you with in the future, please don't hesitate to ask. Isabel, you're so cute. All right, off we go. So I think that Lucky's house should be reverted just that quick. Because Isabel doesn't waste time. She's like... 
get this changed and do it now. <laughs> All right, so let's go see if it's any different than it was a minute ago. The outside still looks the same, but we haven't changed anything about that. Let's see what, okay. So this is what Lucky's house is supposed to look like. Yes, I have never seen this before. So, <laughs> cause I've never had Lucky before. So this is very interesting. Okay, so he's got like a cemetery in his house, which is slightly disturbing, but that's okay. Um, Lucky, we're probably going to lean towards getting you a new house. So, <laughs> um, we'll put Lucky on the list for possible villager of the week because um, he got a rock garden. Is that a good reason? <laughs> I don't know. He gave us a Hawaiian print apron. That's a pretty good reason too. All right, what are we doing? We need to get rid of the rest of this. Finish what you started. All right. Mary, did you come to get your giant clam for the day? When you see rain puddles, don't you just want to jump right in them? Yes, <laughs> absolutely. You're giving me a thing? Yes, we're giving you a thing. Here you go. Ah, giant clam. Thanks, giving me stuff I can put to good use. That's super fab, Muffin. I feel kind of bad being the only one getting stuff. Here, take a blue camo wall. You know what would be fun one time? <laughs> Fun uh, slash mean, maybe. Um, it's just visit uh, decorating the villagers' houses with all the stuff that they give you. Can you imagine Mary's house with a blue camo wall? It's a good thing you're already villager of the week, Mary, because that was not getting you on the list. <laughs> all right. That, that actually would be kind of funny. We might have to do that one day. Try it out. Just like villager makeovers with all the stuff they gave us. Th that would be some interesting decor for sure. <laughs> it might take a while though because they give you clothes so often. All right, here we go. We can at least get rid of that. We won't lay down the new path right now, I don't think. We need to go find some kind of fence to go in what's what's the fence that's in our pocket already we have hedges and we have simple wooden fence um i kind of don't want to use the hedges i think something something not green since it's going to be between uh green bushes there we're gonna get we're gonna see what we already have made and if it's something wait um Oh, it's under this one, isn't it? I always forget where the fences are. Okay, so what we have made is country fencing, which is fall-like, but I don't think it goes... What if we use the zen fencing? That kind of matches Lucky's house, doesn't it? We could go with that. That's really all we have made? Well, we're definitely not using the bunny day fencing. I don't know why I have so much of that. <laughs> I think I actually picked that up on Nana A's island when uh, we were raiding her her old stash there <laughs> okay well let's try out the zen fence and see what we think about that we might just put it in there and then wait for the bushes to grow up and see how it looks what we could actually do is um put these down and then skip back to today do we want to do that since we did do Caroline's birthday, maybe we'll do that. And then we'll be able to see how how this looks with the bushes grown up or if we need to try something else. Because right now it looks kind of weird with just one little piece of Zen fence there everywhere. All right, we'll be right back. Okay, well, we are back and we're on the right day now. <laughs> it's Saturday. And uh, first thing we're gonna do is change our clothes because you know, different day, different outfit. And there we go. <laughs> We're gonna be a little watermelon for Saturday. Super fun. Okay, so here's what we ended up with. What do we think? How do we like that Zen fence in there? Or is there another one that we should try? Also, I went to put down the dirt path around the rocks and I saw this one that I had totally forgot we had. And I thought maybe that kind of matched Lucky's little cemetery vibe <laughs> a little bit better. Kind of goes with his house. Ooh, balloon. Um, a little bit better, maybe? I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. How, how do you like this? What do, we, what do we think about this? 
Um, think about it with yellow or orange little tea olive flowers on the bushes in the fall time with the brownish grass. I don't know. I kind of like it, but I would love to know what you guys think. All right, we've got some rampant flowers over here, but we're not going to deal with those right now. So we still have a little bit of space in the front here of Lucky's area. So we need to figure out what we're going to do with that as well. And we still got to do something for Mary over here. I moved two roses over. We don't really have room for like a rose garden garden kind of thing. So, hmm. I don't know. Let's go see what we have in our storage that might work for Mary's yard. And we made her house all pink, pink, pink. So we got to find something that's going to go with that. Let's see, what do we have? Do we have any kind of little outdoor seating that goes with pink, pink, pink? I don't really want to use something like these wedding benches. That's not going to do it. Let's see. Oh, we really don't have anything. Oh, wait, here we go. How about a pink peacock chair? <laughs> How do we have a pink one of those? That's so weird. Um, what else can we put out in her house? her area. Maybe maybe one of these little tables. I don't know. We'll grab it and see. I bet our pockets are more full than we think they are. So we better be careful how much stuff we're picking up here. Maybe she could have this arch or a gazebo or one of these. No, our pockets are full. All right, hold on. <laughs> we got to put some stuff away. What should we do? Put something away. What do we even have now? Oh yeah, we've like bought this purse. We have these flower shoes we bought. We're gonna put our tea olive starts back away. Uh, we'll keep that Hawaiian print apron. Let's see, that's what we just pulled out. We can put the zen fencing away for now. Are we gonna keep that blue camo wall? No, we are not. All right, put that stuff away. And try to take this gazebo back out. Uh, we might not, I mean, if we decide to use it, we might not keep it the color. Um, but let's go see how something like that would look. It might take up too much space because her yard is very small. Uh, she does have a little bit of space back here, though. Next to this tree. Hmm. How do we want to do this? How do we want to do... Ooh, what did we get in our balloon? We forgot to look. 10,000 bells, nice. I think we still have some storage we can buy. Oh, we got a bag of 99. We got so much junk in our pockets, you guys. <laughs> As always. Okay, what kind of path do we want to put down over here on Mary's side? Does she want a dirt path? Does she want a little mossy stone path? What are we going to give her? Let's try this. That is not kind of where I wanted that to go. <laughs> All right, we're gonna put it here. Nope, <laughs> we gotta get straighter than that. There we go. Okay, and I'm actually gonna put this one down here too because I think we're gonna make like a little spot out that's like a little path over to um, the other path. <laughs> a path to the path. So let's get this laid down and then we'll put the little piece over here. Since we have the pieces for this set, um, yeah, this one right here. Yeah, so it's like, you know, you're just walking over there. All right, so I think that looks cute for her. A little more rustic. I don't know. She's not very rustic, is she? Maybe this was the wrong choice for her. I feel like, I feel like I don't know what I'm doing today. <laughs> what what are we doing? I was trying to put down something out of our pocket, and I went back into that. Okay, so, oh nope, not that peacock chair. That's what I was trying to do. Oh my goodness. <laughs> so we can make a little sitting spot. Uh, might bring it forward a little bit, so you could kind of see the waterfall maybe from that spot and then we can put some roses around this maybe some white roses whoops I think I'm gonna like the white roses for over here 
I don't know if we're gonna keep that purple one or not. We'll keep it for now. Whoa, another balloon already? It's probably been a minute since the last one. Oops, we missed. All right. <laughs> we can't do anything in the right spot today. All right, there we go. A portable record player, cool. Oh wait, what color is it? Is it something that we could use for Mary? It's pink, hey, look at that. All right, we actually need to go back into construction mode for a minute because I just realized that the path isn't all the way up to her door. <laughs> so we gotta put that in. And probably need to do it on Lucky's side too. All right, so let's pick up her balloon for a minute here. Get our stone path out. We're gonna get this um, a little bit done today. Not all the way done, but a little bit done. <laughs> Okay, so there's that, and then yeah, we need to do lucky side too. All right, cool. One more little step. Okay, so we're totally using this record player for Mary. What can we play on it? Mm, Bubblegum KK? <laughs> maybe maybe we want something a little more relaxing. Since we took KK Dub out of the bamboo area, let's do KK Dub. Actually, I'm going to turn that up too so it's a little louder. I don't know if we'll be able to hear it, but it'll be there. Okay, we need more white roses. Um, I'm going to put the one we have down just so that it's one more pocket space. And we actually need to move a couple things around in here before I go crazy. Okay. <laughs> All right. Let's go see how many more white... Oh, there's our dig spot for the day. Um, we're going to go see how many more white roses we have. Right after we do this. I dug up a thousand bells. Isn't it funny, like the things that are just normal in Animal, Cross <laughs> in Animal Crossing, like, oh yeah, we totally just randomly dig up bells from a glowing spot every day. Um, <laughs> wouldn't, wouldn't that be fun if we did it in real life? Just have to go out and search for your glowing spot every day and like that only you could see. <laughs> it's like, oh, here's a thousand bells. Yeah, we'll take it. All right, let's see if this is enough. <laughs> I don't know how many we're gonna need. I really kind of like this. I really kind of do, okay. Do, 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 do. I wanna uh, completely surround this. So, one, two, three. And, whoops, two more over here. Can we fit two in there? Yes. Put that away. And then probably need another two, three for around the tree and next to the path there. I think there was three more. White ones. Oh yeah. One and two. And fill in our spots. Three. Nice. We'll just, oh, there's another gyroid over there too. I don't really like that guy though. I kind of picked out ones that I can tolerate better than most to put over here. <laughs> uh, uh, along with our little crumploid, which is my total favorite one. Okay, so we'll put one there and we'll put a couple right here. Okay, what do we think about that? That makes a cozy, cute little spot, doesn't it? I mean, we might add some more stuff to it. Maybe we will move this chair over just a tiny bit so we can put a little table there with... Um, I want like a table that's two spaces wide so we can put the record player on it and maybe like a little cute little drink or something, a snack or something for Mary. So we need a little table first. Uh, maybe we could do this one? Can we customize the color of that cloth? We'll grab it. But what else do we have? We could also do a rattan table. We would have to get it recolored. 
too white, I think, but let's grab it just to see what we think about how it looks. And that's kind of, oops, the only low tables. And then I totally forgot that we also needed something else to put on the table, <laughs> something small. So what do we want to put there? What do we want to put there? A cupcake? That would be cute for Mary. Oh, how about some orange tart? Oh, oh, I like that little you know me teacup too. Hmm. All right, let's grab that. Let's grab this. We'll just see how a couple of different things look. Um, we could also we could also none of these are roses. We kind of kind of want to keep it to roses over there, I think. Is there something else? Oh, we do have these cute little heart-shaped bouquets. You know what? Let's just grab the white one. Because maybe we'll put it as a decoration near her door. Because that might look cute with her little white roses over on the other side. We'll just put it right here. It's very merry, isn't it? We might <laughs> we might put it up on something though, because I don't know. I feel like I just throw this stuff on the ground sometimes and I don't think about it, but we probably will put it up on something at some point. So let's see, what were the two tables that we got? The Zen bench, we're gonna have to do some customizing and we should have done it while we were right there. And actually while we have our hard hat on, let's fix this as well. Get this, whoops, all the way up to the bridge. Lots of little jobs today. <laughs> It's like that sometimes. All right, and then I want to put like a little thing in the corner there. I like to just soften those inside corners. <laughs> I don't know. It's just a thing that I do. All right, so what... Wait, what did we come back over here for? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Customize. Customize something. We can customize the Zen bench. And we can make it white. Would we make it white? Or, hmm, I think about the only one I would go for would be like this one. I kind of don't like that the legs on that are black, but there's not much we can do about it. Do we think the pink, or is pink too much? <laughs> we kind of went all out with the pink on Mary's house, didn't we? All right, so let's customize that one and then see if... We can't customize the rattan one, but if we don't like the way the other one looks, um, we wouldn't want to customize this. We would want the one with pink, right? Although the that one's got white roses. So maybe, hmm, oh, that costs seven. Ouch. Ouch, ouch. <laughs> um... I don't know. Is that like, is that going to match the rest of her stuff? We'll just leave it pink for a second. I don't even know 100% sure we're going to use this, but we'll see if we can find a spot where it looks good. And, and then if we think it needs to change color. Um, okay. I'm going to dig up this purple one because I don't think we're going to use that, but we can do something else with this little area back here. Maybe, maybe we can put another little bench or something that just faces toward the waterfall for her. All right, let's try this table. Doo -doo. Right now, I'm kind of looking at it and thinking that... Well, no, that goes, that goes with her house pretty well. Really kind of the chair is what doesn't go. So we might have to change the chair. All right, let's um, let's grab the record player and put that down. We'll put that on this edge. And turn that back on, and then and then I guess hmm, we'll try the teacup. Because the other thing we got was the orange tart. Although she does have a little bit of orange on her front door there. And the teacup is more blue. So let's let's see what the orange tart looks like. We'll just see. <laughs> it might look okay. 
Uh, I don't know. It's pretty cute. We'll leave it there for now. Um, and I guess we'll put this chair back for now to, where did it go? But I think we can do better on the chair, but I'm not sure that we have a chair in our possession that is going to do better at the moment. So we'll leave it that way for now, but I think we're still going to have some work to do on Mary's house. But do we want to put like a gazebo or something back here? Or that's going to block the waterfall. Like if we have that there. Maybe we don't care about blocking the waterfall. I don't know. Does that look cute with Mary's house? Is that what we want to put in there? <laughs> I just don't know. Decisions, decisions. All right, we have that and then we have the pergola, which we also picked up. Um, where did that go? Nope, it's not that. Wait, didn't we pick up a pergola? There it is. Okay, which also we would have to oops, change the color of because it does not match in its current state. But that's another option. We could. There's one that has pink hanging flowers, I think, that could, could go back there. All right, so those are some options <laughs> for us to work on finishing out Mary's acre and and we need to come up with something for Lucky's Acre over here. We gotta come up with something for this front area. And then over here on his beach side, I was thinking that we would totally give him like a little swimming pool and some fun stuff over here. Ooh, shark. See if we can catch it. Is it a shark though? I don't know at this time of day. Could be. Oh, it, <laughs> it bit really fast. Must be a sucker fish because it didn't pull very hard. Okay. All right. Well, I hope that we got back into our groove a little bit with Larkshire here. But I think we're going to call it right there. We, we got some stuff done today. It was a little scattered and a little haphazard, but I think we did okay. So yeah, you guys let me know uh, what you think we should do next or what we should change. Should we go gazebo? Should we go pergola? What chair would look good over there in Mary's spot? And what should go in the front of Lucky's Acre here? All right, that's a lot of questions. I hope you have a lot of answers. In the meantime, thank you so, so much for joining me for another day here on the island of Larkshire. I do appreciate you so much for being here. Please take a moment, if you would, and click that like button if you haven't done it already. And if you're enjoying your time here with us, why not subscribe as well and turn on those notifications so you can be sure to join us for the next one. I'll see you there, friends. Have a beautiful day.